Have you ever wondered why we behave differently in different social situations? Why do we put on a mask, so to speak, when we interact with others? Today, I am here to delve into the fascinating world of Carl Jung's analytical psychology and explore the concept of the persona, a key element in understanding our identity and social roles. But before we dive into the persona, let's take a moment to recap some of the key concepts of Carl Jung's analytical psychology. Jung believed that our psyche is composed of various layers, each with its own unique characteristics and functions. He emphasized the importance of the unconscious mind and the collective unconscious, which contains universal symbols and archetypes shared by all human beings. Jung also introduced the concept of individuation, the process of integrating our conscious and unconscious aspects to achieve wholeness and self-realization. He believed that this journey towards individuation is crucial for personal growth and psychological well-being. Now, let's turn our attention to the persona. The word persona originates from the Latin term for mask. In Jungian psychology, the persona refers to the social mask we wear in different situations. It is the face we present to the world, the image we project to others. The persona is not our true self, but rather a constructed identity that adapts to societal expectations and norms. The significance of the persona lies in its role in understanding our identity and social roles. We all have multiple personas that we adopt in different contexts, such as at work with friends or within our families. These personas allow us to navigate through various social roles and expectations. They help us fit into society and establish connections with others. However, the persona can also become a source of conflict and inner turmoil. When we become too identified with our persona, we may lose touch with our authentic self. We may feel trapped by societal expectations, constantly striving to meet the standards set by others. This can lead to a sense of emptiness and disconnection from our true desires and passions. Furthermore, the persona can create a barrier to genuine human connection. We often present a polished and idealized version of ourselves to others, fearing judgment or rejection if we reveal our vulnerabilities. This can prevent us from forming deep and meaningful relationships, as we are constantly hiding behind our masks. Understanding the persona allows us to become more aware of the different roles we play in society and the impact they have on our sense of self. By recognizing the persona as a construct, we can begin to peel back the layers and explore our authentic selves. This process of self-discovery is essential for personal growth and the realization of our true potential. Now that we have defined the persona as the social mask we present to the world, let us delve deeper into its formation. The persona is not something we are born with. Rather, it is shaped by a combination of societal expectations and personal experiences. Societal expectations play a significant role in shaping our personas. From a young age, we are bombarded with messages about how we should behave, what is considered acceptable and what is not. These societal norms act as a blueprint for constructing our personas as we strive to fit into the mold that society has set for us. We learn to adopt certain behaviors, beliefs, and values that align with the expectations of our culture, family, and community. However, it is important to recognize that societal expectations can be limiting. They often impose narrow definitions of success, beauty, and happiness, leaving little room for individuality and self-expression. This can lead to the creation of personas that are inauthentic as we try to conform to societal norms rather than embracing our true self. Personal experiences also play a crucial role in shaping our personas. As we navigate through life, we encounter various situations and interactions that leave a lasting impact on us. These experiences can be both positive and negative, and they shape our beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors. For example, a person who has experienced rejection or criticism may develop a persona that is guarded or defensive as a means of self-protection. On the other hand, Someone who has received praise and validation may develop a persona that seeks constant approval from others. It is important to note that our personas are not fixed or static. They can evolve and change over time as we grow, learn, and gain new experiences. As we become more self-aware and introspective, we can start to question the authenticity of our personas. We may begin to realize that the mask we wear is not a true reflection of who we are at our core. 
Understanding the formation of our personas is a crucial step towards self-discovery and personal growth. By recognizing the influence of societal expectations and personal experiences, we can begin to peel back the layers of our personas and uncover our true self. This process requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. In conclusion, the persona is a social mask that we present to the world shaped by societal expectations and personal experiences. It is important to critically examine our personas and question whether they align with our authentic selves. By doing so, we can embark on a journey of self-discovery, embracing our true identities, and living a life that is aligned with our values and aspirations. Remember, it is through understanding and embracing our true selves that we can find genuine happiness and fulfillment. As we delve deeper into the concept of the persona, we encounter a fascinating tension that exists between authenticity and conformity. On one hand, we all strive to be true to ourselves, to express our unique identities and values. Yet, on the other hand, we find ourselves constantly influenced by societal expectations and norms, often leading us to conform and suppress our authentic selves. Maintaining authenticity in a world that encourages conformity can be a daunting challenge. We are bombarded with messages that tell us how we should look, what we should believe, and how we should behave. These external pressures can make it difficult to stay true to our own values and desires. We may find ourselves wearing masks, adopting personas that align with societal expectations rather than embracing our true selves. One of the greatest challenges individuals face in maintaining authenticity is the fear of judgment and rejection. We worry that if we reveal our true selves, we may not be accepted or understood by others. This fear can lead us to hide behind a carefully constructed persona, presenting only the parts of ourselves that we believe will be accepted by society. In doing so, we sacrifice our authenticity for the sake of fitting in. However, it is important to recognize that conformity does not lead to true fulfillment. When we conform to societal expectations, we may find temporary acceptance, but at the cost of our own happiness and self-expression. It is only when we embrace our authentic selves that we can experience true joy and fulfillment in life. So, how can we navigate this tension between authenticity and conformity? It begins with self-reflection and self-acceptance. We must take the time to understand who we truly are, what our values and passions are, and what brings us genuine happiness. By doing so, we can start to shed the masks we wear and embrace our authentic selves. Additionally, it is crucial to surround ourselves with a supportive and accepting community. Finding like-minded individuals who appreciate and celebrate our authenticity can provide the encouragement and strength we need to stay true to ourselves. These connections can help us resist the pressures of conformity and empower us to live authentically. In conclusion, the dual nature of the persona presents us with a profound challenge. The tension between authenticity and conformity. While societal expectations may tempt us to conform, it is only through embracing our authentic selves that we can find true fulfillment. Let us strive to break free from the constraints of conformity, to celebrate our uniqueness, and to live our lives authentically. Remember, it is in our authenticity that we find our greatest strength and make our most significant contributions to the world. Now that we have discussed the challenges of balancing authenticity and social roles, let's delve into strategies for aligning our persona with our true self. It is essential to recognize that authenticity is not about completely discarding our social roles or conforming to societal expectations. Instead, it is about finding a harmonious balance between our true self and the roles we play in different contexts. One strategy for aligning our persona with our true self is self-reflection. Taking the time to reflect on our values, beliefs and passions allows us to gain a deeper understanding of who we truly are. By engaging in introspection, we can identify the aspects of our social roles that align with our authentic self and those that may require adjustment. Self-reflection also helps us identify any discrepancies between our true self and the persona we present to others. It allows us to examine whether we are being true to ourselves or if we are merely conforming to societal expectations. By recognizing these discrepancies, we can take steps to bridge the gap and bring our authentic self into alignment with our social roles. 
Another crucial aspect of aligning our persona with our true self is self-acceptance. Embracing who we are, including our strengths, weaknesses, and imperfections, is vital for living authentically. It is important to remember that authenticity does not mean being perfect or flawless. It means being genuine and true to ourselves. Self-acceptance allows us to let go of the need for external validation and embrace our uniqueness. When we accept ourselves, we become more comfortable expressing our true thoughts, feelings, and opinions, even if they differ from those around us. This authenticity can foster deeper connections with others and create a more fulfilling and meaningful life. In addition to self-reflection and self-acceptance, it is essential to surround ourselves with supportive and accepting individuals. Building a network of people who appreciate and encourage our authentic self can provide a safe space for us to express who we truly are. These individuals can serve as a reminder that it is okay to be ourselves and can offer valuable insights and perspectives. Remember, authenticity is not a destination but a lifelong journey. It requires self-reflection, self-acceptance, and the willingness to let go of societal expectations. Embracing authenticity may not always be easy, but it is a path that leads to a more genuine and fulfilling life. Thank you for your attention, and up until next time, take care and see you soon.